if you want to have this keep watching this a tragedy i'm a beautiful disaster a reckoning you wonder how i got this way you think i'm someone to be saved someone to clean up and tame oh some things never Hello guys, thank you so much for clicking this video. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a hip pad. If you find this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Actually, one of my subscribers requested me to make a hip pad video like a while ago, but I've just been postponing it. So today I'm going to show you how you can make it. And also this video is inspired by the African fabric research that I see on Instagram because they just like look so perfect on the dummy and even on like someone's body so um, today I'm going to show you why they look so perfect and why they make someone look so curvaceous yeah so what you're going to need are just like something like this uh, a form a form sheet like they cannot sell to me like the size that I want just a small piece so I had to buy like this I stopped asking for forgiveness because you should know only fools should there were, there were different colors black, blue, pink, gray. But this one was cheaper. I don't know why it was cheaper. But the black one was so expensive. Maybe black is expensive. That is why it was expensive. I don't know. So this one was cheaper. It was 300 shillings. 300 Kenyan shillings. That is $30 only. They say I should feel guilty and change my ways. Leave and crumple bodies in my way. this line right here so that it guides you on how you're going to measure your your pad you're first of all going to measure from the from the waist here to where you want the pad to end that is under your under your bar so you're going to take your tape measure and I'm going to start from there to like there So that is 12. For my hips, I'm going to measure 12. 12. And then, now this line is going to guide you on how you're going to measure this part. So, you want, you're going to measure to where you want your part to, to reach. So, you're going to put it there. And I want it to be somewhere there. Yeah, that is for the, for the front part. And then for the back, I want it to be to reach somewhere like there. That is six. So this is here is five, twelve, and then six. So it's going to be something like this. Okay? And then just be careful not to like measure from here to like somewhere like there. From here to here. You know? Just want just some few inches from from this line this is just one inch so if you want it bigger that is okay but like for me i want it to be this small and then especially if you have like if your thighs are small you really want something that is not that big you know you don't you don't want it to be so exaggerated and i feel it will just fit with my thighs i don't want it to be to look so fake i need 12 inches but i'm going to cut 14 inches just in case so i'm going to cut here right here Yes, I have to cut like 6 plus 5, that is 11, but I'm going to cut 12 or 13 first. It's supposed to be 5, then 6, that makes it 11. So I'm going to cut from here, here, to here. here and then the front part here is supposed to be five five and then this other part is, part is the back so now let me just write here front and then this one is supposed to be back and then now from here from the waistline to the hips to under the back is supposed to be 12 here 
So you're going to cut something like this. Still feeling like someone's with me. It's strange. So this is the part and always remember to mark the front and the back so that you don't end up confusing them. So you take the first, uh, this part that you cut earlier, put it on the foam and then just draw a pattern so that you get the same size and shape for the second part. <laughs> There are different shapes of this part, so I always prefer the I, I prefer this one because this one was easier to measure and cut. Now cut the edges and just make sure it is so flat because you don't want it to be seen in the outfit. Cut the angle and just make sure the part is really shaped so well. You can use the cutter, you can use a razor blade, you can use the scissors to do the shaping, but just make sure it is so flat. So I do the same on the on both parts. So guys, like this is what tailors do. They have parts like this and then they stitch them in the skirt, like on the lining. I did have the right uh, dress to show you, but I had this skirt that had had a lining, so I'll show you using this skirt. So they always take the pads and then they stitch them on the lining, or they use glue and attach them on the lining. And then they always seal them or, or glue them in between the, the fabric and the lining like that so that when you take the scarf or the dress off like no one can notice that the skirt was really padded no one can see the pads so I wanted to stitch to I wanted to glue these pads in this cut but this cut was really the material is not that stretchy so if I stitch them on this cut or if I glue them on this cut the skirt will be too tight that's why the tailors, tailors would measure them first before they glue them or before they stitch them on the outfit. And not all these dresses or skirts are padded. Some some models just have that they are naturally curvy. So like not all these uh, outfits are padded. And then most of the time they will pad them on this type of material. Like the material that don't really stretch too much so that they don't show like a material that stretches too much might show the pads but this type of material the the pads really won't show that much and it just give you that hourglass shape figure so these two skirts are fitting so i can't attach these pads on them so i'll just put them in these shorts and try them on so that you can see how it would really look in an outfit Time is unfair, cause I know Let me try it in different outfits and just see if we'll see any changes or if it will look so exaggerated. So guys, just comment below your opinion if you'll try this, if you've done this. My body looks so exaggerated, but yeah, this is how it looks in the, in the dress. So here it is. Here it is. You say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way, you think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame, oh some things never change, never change, oh. you think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my boots. Let's just assume that this was a dress. As you can see how perfect I look. Like, no one can even tell because it has actually balanced with my shape and doesn't look that exaggerated. This is the before, which is just okay. 
but now I want to look like an Instagram hourglass shape model actually this is what most of the tailors do they pad the most of these gowns even wedding gowns like they are padded most of them yeah so guys just look at your girl i really love what i'm seeing and remember guys this is not something you're supposed to do like on daily basis this is something you do once in a while you know when you just want to slay just do it once in a while or just have these one or two dresses that are padded so that you can wear them on occasions or you know just once in a while and by the way when you check these padded outfits on online like most of them are expensive like fifty dollars sixty seventy like they're just so expensive they say I should feel guilty and change my ways Leaving crumple bodies in my wakes Where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like I will tell you from this video Like don't put so much pressure on yourself Just because of what you see on social media Or just because you want to look like someone else Maybe they're just wearing shapewears and yeah, so don't put so much pressure on yourself and go and do injection and surgeries. Just appreciate yourself and feel good about yourself. So that was it for today, guys. If you last if you learned something from this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys, see you on my next video. Mm. Bye.